All right, so I think it's time for a story time. Now, this first story I'm gonna tell you guys, it does end on a joke. That's what it is, joke, a joke, fake news, nothing but it. But um, pretty much back in, uh, I guess 2000, 2001, right around when I was a preteen, probably 11, 12, 13, I can't remember the time. But for you millennials out there, you definitely remember the time. It was like the start of social media interaction. So what I'm talking about is screen names. I'm talking about AOL, the dial up. The song samples that you could select to play as soon as you get online to meet your friends in the chat. So this is all in regards to that. Because if you don't know, back in the early 2000s, I'm pretty sure it was the early 2000s, probably 2002, um, 2003, you know, as soon as you get home from school, you want to go on the computer. Now, most families have only one computer, and you obviously take turns going on that computer to go online. So when you go online, you literally you connect to AOL, and then you, it makes a crazy noise, and you sign online, and then you could create your own screen name. And this pretty much identifies who you are to your friends or whoever, and pretty much you mainly just talk to your friends, right? Meanwhile, you just saw them at school the entire day. But then you get home, you talk to your friends. And what's so, what was so cool about you know, having a screen name and just this, this technology at the time is that before you had TikTok, you had AOL screen names. So you, call, you could select your songs. So I remember they had songs from Jay-Z, H to the Izzo. H to the Izzo. Jay-Z, Dirt Off Your Shoulders. Ludacris, uh, was it Southern Hospitality? Missy Elliott. There's so many different songs, but they only play like two seconds when you first sign on. Now the story ain't even about that. I'm just kind of painting a picture of online at that time. But the, the point of the story is all about the screen name. Now, not only do you have to have to pick a cool song, but you also don't want to steal a cool song. So pretty much if you have a friend that picked one of your songs that you really wanted, you can't really take that because they got that already. Because whoever signs on, you already know, oh, that's so-and-so that just signed on with that song. But on top of the song, you also have your screen name, which is very unique. Now, you could either go like a little professional route, keep it cool, or keep it classy, or you could keep it cool and switch things up. Now, you also don't want to copy your friend's screen name. You obviously want to pick whatever number means to you. Um, and back in the day, you know, they had... As you know with the rappers, right? They had Lil Bow Wow, Lil Wayne. Uh, there's so many back then. Not many, but now, and then they took a break from these new artists. They didn't really do the Lil, L-I-L. But now you have so many Lils, Lil Uzi Verse, Lil Uzi God knows who. But um, I was a Lil too at one point. Yes, I was. Oh yes, your boy Chris was. Yes, he was on screen name AOL. Yes, the streets knew about him. Fake news though. Most definitely, I'll get to that. So I was uh, my I was Lil, my last name as some number, right? Whatever. <sighs> so my last name, everyone calls me by my last name or did when I was in school, right? Because it is a cool last name the way you pronounce it the right way, which is C-O-C. Uh, the Italian way is like Chochi, but so many people mess that up, right? But C-O-C, I used to always go by that nickname. New friends, old friends, everyone called me C-O-C. That's one of my main nicknames. Uh, it's kind of weird for me to tell someone like, oh yeah, my name's Chris, but call me this. Like, I feel weird doing that as an adult. So I obviously haven't gone by that last name with new people in my life. Although I'm thinking about bringing it back. I'm thinking about it, but not the fake news part. Cause I'm gonna get to the fake news part right here, right now. Uh, my dog's over here acting the fool. This applies to him, not me in regards to the screen name, but pretty much cause he a little dog, he a little dog, but see me, so if you got if you if you're getting to the if you understand where I'm getting to probably not but if my last name is pronounced C O C but it's not even spelled that name it's spelled C I O C E but yet in my screen name I put Lil capital C O C letters C O C now you listening I'm looking at my dog right now because he's paying attention I hope you are too if you read that Lil C O C if you add a K, it looks like a little cock, am I right? Lil C O C, if you're reading that. But that wasn't what I was going for. Ain't nobody Lil here. Lil C O C. 
So little cock, and I didn't even realize it till like a year later. I'm like, hold up. Not even a year later, probably a few months later now that I think about it. Because the whole point of this, the funny part about it, is that this whole time I thought I was a little Siosi. But motherfucking strangers and hackers and weirdos thinking it's little cock. Next thing you know, I'm getting fucking spammed emails for Viagra, this and that. Look, what the fuck is going on? I swear to God, I didn't real. It took me a while. I was like, because this is like my dad's computer too. Like I said, when you back in the nineties and two thousands, the family household only had one computer. So here I am getting emails talking about, do you need Viagra? This and that. What? I'm just little coc. What the fuck? And I'm like, oh shit. Does that read little cock? I don't know how that all happened. I swear to God. So to this day. I watch out for that. I can't go by Lil C O C. The letters, the initials can't do it because, I mean, no, we're not doing that. Fake news, right? Fake news. He looking at me, shaking his head. But uh, yeah, interesting days. I don't want to say sad days, but they were fun days. Fake news days. Oh, yeah. But Lil C O C. So that was a fun thing. Let me know down in the comments if you had a screen name back then. Were you one of the cool, creative screen names like me? Yes, I'm going to put it out there that... That was creative, and I thought it was cool, but apparently it was perverted and weird and sad and fake. So yeah, little COC, holla at your boy, hit me up on AIM, AOL. I don't know which one I had as a song. I think I had one of the Jay-Z songs, but that was the first, uh, that was before MySpace. It was literally the first interaction of social media, having a screen name on AOL, and your boy Chris was Lil COC. If he only knew better, that's it.